So throughout my time as a filmmaker, I have found myself finding these random little items that I just tend to enjoy. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a few items that people have sent out to me or things that I've just went and bought because they fit so well in my kit that they might work out for you. What's going on guys? I'm gonna do my best to keep this video short because I know I can get a little bit long-winded. You know, I just love talking about things that I love. <laughs> but today we're gonna cover a few items that just fit nicely in my kit, very niche things. And for black magic shooters, I think this is going to be things that you should like definitely look out for. Okay, so first things up, I have the Port Keys LH5P monitor. This thing, oh my God, it, it blew me away because I thought it was just gonna be another monitor that a company sent out to me, but this one pairs wirelessly with your black magic. I will try my best to demonstrate. So for this monitor, you get like all of these controls here on screen. Let me see if I can help you out there. So you can see stuff like iris, shutter, like ISO, and all I have to do is like on screen, if I wanna brighten my camera up, I just I just brighten it up. If I want to change B raw from eight to one to twelve to one, I just do so, and it's all being done wirelessly. Like I have the HDMI in there, of course, to feed the actual image. But if I actually want to do stuff, I just tap the monitor, and now I have all of my controls. This is so freaking handy when you're on a shoot, or if you're like me and you have a hood on your black magic, you gotta like, you know, bend down <laughs> and try to peck at the screen. Now I can mount this right on my handle and have all of the controls of the black magic right here on the screen. So Porky's way to go. You have made something that is built really well. It uses a mixture of what feels like plastic and metal, but like, I don't know, this thing is light, compact, it has additional function keys up top, has a hard on and off switch, which I am always a fan of. And you have different options, of course, for the antenna. If you want one that stick straight up, you can switch it out. But I am a huge fan of this monitor. I know I love the Andy Cine C6, but this thing, man, this might be my favorite monitor to pair with the Black Magic. So if you are a Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K, 4K, 12K shooter, you might wanna get the port keys. Also, very small side note, make sure your firmware is up to date. I have a second camera and it was having connection issues, but the firmware on that one is super old. This one is updated, works every single time I cut it on. Okay, so next up is something I've been using a little bit more than I expected. These, 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 this. <laughs> this is a magnetic glow mist filter from Freewell. This thing, of course, has a magnetic cover and it has a magnetic thread that you thread onto your lenses. As you can see here, we have the actual thread and I have the filter itself and it just kind of pops on. So to demonstrate, I have a second one here and I've already attached the threads to my lens. So what I want to do, if I ever want to give an interview or a quick session like this, a little pop of diffusion, all I have to do is boom and now you have that light over there pops so much more. This helps soften the skin, soften your image. And of course it's quickly removable if you don't want it. You just have to take it off. If you really wanna use it, man, interviews has been a ton of fun because I don't have to really think about, you know, getting a lot of stuff out or do I have, you know, diffusion kits on me or my pro mist having to screw everything in, this thing just snaps on. And if I'm done, I can just pop it right off. <laughs> very, very convenient. Thank you so much Freewell for sending these. I will be using them nonstop. I don't know, I kind of like that look. I feel like it may be, I feel like it may be a little too much for this YouTube video, but yeah, look at that. Look at that haze we got going. We'll rock the video with that. <laughs> And lastly, something I use every shoot, if you are wanting to get into V-mount batteries, external power sources, this is the Powerbase Edge. The Powerbase Edge is pretty much my go-to power source for the Blackmagic. If I don't have it plugged in, if I'm not using some kind of like super extra rig, you know, I am running it with the Powerbase Edge. For those of you who don't know, this thing sits underneath your camera. It actually has a small camera mount that you just screw into the bottom of your camera and sit that 
On top of this, it has a monitor on it in case you need to know how much battery life you have left, which I always love. And of course it has DTAP ports. So if you want to plug anything external into it, maybe you want to plug your monitor, maybe you want to plug, you know, some kind of focusing system, you now have the option to. And if you want to use this thing just as a power bank, there are USB ports on it. So this is one of the most versatile battery packs that I have. V-mount, bottom mount, battery pack, you know, it's just something to always keep on you. And it's definitely one of those things that I love. So yeah, if you are in the market for more power, grab yourself a couple of these because they last for a ton of time and they are so freaking convenient. All right, that is pretty much everything that I had and I wanted to share. You know, just a couple of items that I find myself using in my kit that are a little too niche to make a solo video on, but I definitely want to share it with you guys. But with that all being said, that's all I have for you today, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, consider subscribing because I'm going to bring you more content just like this every week. So you guys stay safe, you loved, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> that light just died. I timed this thing perfectly.